and one more interview question okay today uh, almost made two videos uh, so this is the third interview question and try to make one more video today uh, for the one more interview question let me see if I have the time and uh, uh, Isha training solutions we provide training on JMeter low runner uh, and then live project supports and then project implementations performance engineering courses Dynatrace all this is provided guys so the uh, the interview question is um, okay so this is the third interview question for today <coughs> okay so in the script okay in the script uh, in the viewgen script that the think time okay think time is part of response time okay the think time is part of response time now does analysis report show this think time okay never thought so i mean i never paid attention to this but very very interesting question okay the think time is a part of the response times okay the transaction response times and then you forgot and you uploaded the script you executed the test does the analysis summary report show this think time as a part of this transaction response times or the analysis report show this think time in the in the uh, in the in the response times or as a part of response times or where it shows in the summary report where it shows captures the response times does it capture this think time as a part of the response time that's a question I think the question is clear to all of you okay so basically okay let me uh, let me uh, um, help you with this question even better okay and the same script which I have been using okay launch login and logout for the web tools here is the launch and then here is the login piece of code I have defined the transaction and for whatever the reason the think time I have put it as a part of the transaction let's say I have put 3 seconds okay so 3 seconds of think time as a part of this transaction called T1 okay now when you execute in the vision the vision considers this think time and then whatever the response times that it is there for login it will add 3 seconds to it and it will show it to you if you have any doubts we can look it up here Oh, hang on. <coughs> uh, let's go to the runtime settings, and then uh, if you look at the uh, think time, okay, uh, replay as recorded, okay, and then let's run it for one iteration, okay. And if you run it, okay, it will actually capture that three seconds. Let's say the login is one second, so it, it considers that three seconds, and three plus four one seconds is what it will show. So if you see the transaction T1 ended with a pass. Uh, with the, uh, with the think time of 2.99 seconds and then this is the overall duration okay our overall transaction response times which is 3.09 which includes the think time had there was no think time the response time should have been 0 0.07 or something like that now that you have added the think time the think time plus the response times the overall time it is showing up here but is this the same thing that is shown in the controller as well that's the question okay <coughs> so what did I do I have uploaded this uh, into into my um, um, okay uh, the controller okay so let me uh, let me upload this into the controller the same script okay okay and uh, just to make sure uh, the script is right so I'm opening the script and here the think time should be three seconds which should be the part of the response times okay yeah the think time is three seconds which is the part of the transaction part of the transaction okay now go to the runtime settings okay and when it comes to think time make sure it is as recorded and uh, log okay always send the responses and then run it for 11 iterations <coughs> and run until completion here so it will execute for those 11 times okay and make sure you run it with one user this one user runs for 11 times before he executes out okay or you need not have to have execute for 11 times guys we know uh, the, I mean uh, we know some of the transactions are bad okay so let's execute only for the four times because only the first four transactions has a valid data or yeah the first four in the parameterization the data the first four lines of data is good and everything else is bad so I'm running it for only four times now let's go ahead and run it and uh, give the results file as test 8 <coughs> today I've been sick guys so I, I don't even know what I'm speaking I, hopefully I, I, I'm making sense to you guys um, 
So it's executing. <coughs> Let's see what it is executing. Oh. It's done with execution. Okay. So I'm sure it has executed the four times. Okay. You see, T1 has been executed four times. Okay. And then it has passed. It is, the user has moved to the past status. So let's look at the report. Okay. So just forgot what was the name of the report. It is test eight. The folder. I mean the results folder is test eight. So let's look for test eight. Yeah, test eight. If it includes the response time, I mean the think time inside the response times. So almost every transaction should be more than three seconds. But let's see what it is showing. Okay, but you see the 90 percentile it is showing as still showing as 0 0.078 for T1. The minimum is 0 0.076, average is 0 0.078, 0 0.078. So had the think time was added, okay, uh, into the transaction response times. So every single thing would have been more than three seconds, okay, or the minimum, maximum, average, whatever it is, would have been more than three seconds. So even though accidentally, if you put the think time inside the transaction, uh, it the, my analysis report will not show that. Okay, this is I never paid attention to it. To be honest, only when my student Abhishek has asked this question, then immediately you know I created the test and ran it just to just to see what happens. Okay, <coughs> the answer for your that question is actually does does it include the answer for that question is no. Okay, the think time is a part of response times. Analysis report show this think time in the response times. The answer is no, it doesn't. Okay, even though it's part of the transaction. Yes, in the logs it will show you, in the view gen it will show you, even in the controller log it will show you. Okay, if you go to the controller logs, okay, okay, this is the log, right? So, T1. see t1 ended with a pass 3.07 is what it is okay so you see and this one is 3.0786 3.0076 so in the controller logs it is still showing the think time plus the response times but when it actually shows in the summary report it excludes the think times okay uh, thank you guys thank you for uh, uh, subscribing to my channel and uh, in, and then hopefully you know you're proving your knowledge um, you'll be more ready for the interview questions um, uh, please let your friends know please share it on your Facebook these videos if you like it please share it on Facebook LinkedIn Twitter whatever you think and then share it with your friends as well thank you guys thank you for uh, watching